Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a haul all the way from London because I actually went to London last Saturday with Widget Treat. Now Widget Treat is a social media experience for bloggers up on the Widget Street that happens every year. It happened for the last five years. It was the fifth anniversary this year. And it's basically a fun excuse to go to London for a day, spend the day shopping, you pop into stores, they have treats for you, you have like um, demonstration, a bit of explanation about brands. It was really fun and I did a lot of shopping. I came back home, I passed out on my bed, it was like 11. I was really, really tired because I spent the whole day just browsing the shops, walking up and down Regent Street. I was really, really tired, but I got some cool things that I can't wait to show you. And I want to apologize if I sound a bit funny. It's because I got a cold somehow, I don't know how. Um, I spent the last two days in my bed coughing, snoozing, awful stuff. So I'm sorry if I sound a bit congested or something. It's just because I'm kind of recovering now, but I still feel a bit sick. So the first thing I want to show you is a pretty sweater from Banana Republic, um, which is really wrinkled by the way because I pushed it um, in a tote bag. But basically Banana Republic is a shop that I never went to. I know that it opened on Regent Street a couple of years ago, I saw it before but I never went inside. But we had a voucher and I really wanted to browse the shop and see if I could find anything that caught my eyes. And I actually got this sweater, which is a beautiful grey with um, white stripes. It, was, it is really casual. It has three or four buttons um, on the back. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's just perfect. Um, as soon as I tried it on, I knew I would love it because I have a really similar jersey one that I got at jQuery last year, but somehow I ended up changing like the ink cartridge of the printer and I got ink all over it, so it's pretty ruined and I have like holes in it, it's crazy. But I really liked the style, so I thought that this one would be a great replacement um, for my jQuery one. And then also at Banana Republic, I got this beautiful necklace. Now this kind of shimmery statement necklace are not really something that I'm into anymore. These have been around for a good five or six years and I used to be obsessed. I had a huge collection that I got Primark, Topshop and this is a kind of necklace like if you pop into Forever 21 there's tons of them. But most of the times I found them to be really cheaply made, everyone has the same blah blah blah. But I saw this one and I tried it on with a sweater, it looked incredible and I just decided to get it because even on like a black um, jumper like the one I have today, it just looks really put together. If you're going for a casual look, you can throw this on. It makes a statement and I found that this one was really, really beautiful. So the rest of the haul is going to be beauty because you know me, I'm a beauty addict and what can you do about that? The first thing I got is from Bobby Brown and I actually popped into Liberty to get to the Bobby Brown counter because my mom uses a lot of their stuff and she needed refills so I got her the things and I saw this one, I believe this is new and I tried it on the back of my hand and I really wanted it. It's a Bobby Brown perfectly defined gel eyeliner and I got the shade um, 5 Scotch. I haven't tried this yet just because I wanted to show it to you brand new. So this is supposed to be a gel eyeliner in a pencil form and I think this is going to be really interesting because recently I've been loving going for a really subtle eyeliner with an eyeshadow or a bit of pencil, um, just blurred on the eye. I think it looks really great for every day. Every time I film a video and I say I love something about makeup, I'm wearing a completely different look which is the case today. But I haven't tried this yet, I look forward to trying it and I will keep you posted on that. Then I popped into boots because who can go to London without stopping at Boots? Now the thing is that I didn't do a lot of shopping because I'm obviously going to the States in less than a month now, woohoo! And I know that every time I go to the States I'll do like a whole lot of beauty shopping because they have like a wide variety of brands, it's way less expensive than here in Belgium so I didn't get too much stuff but I did get a bit of refills of my favorite stuff the first one being the Baptiste Dry Shampoo, Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. I use it probably every other day. I just love their dry shampoo. I only wash my hair once, um, once, not once. I only wash my hair twice a week. And in between shampoo, if I need a bit more volume, if I feel like my hair looks a bit greasy, I always use dry shampoo and the Baptiste one. And the Cherry one especially is my favorite. 
And then I picked something else from Batiste, which is the dry conditioner, smoothing conditioning mist. Now, a bit of story behind that. When I went to London Fashion Week with um, my bestie Aurel, she actually picked this one up. And I was like, yeah, dry conditioner, don't believe the hype, blah, blah, blah. She tried it. It was wonderful. I tried it. It was wonderful. Basically, it works just like a dry shampoo. You spray it on your hair from ears down and it leaves you with really smooth, shiny hair. If you've been curling your hair, it kind of smooths everything out. It makes you look like a million bucks. I just love this stuff and I will report back on it soon on my blog. Then I picked up a new Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce Texturizing Spray. I believe I talked about this in favorites video before, but this is basically the drugstore version of the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. This is a spray, you just spray it on your hair directly and it gives you insane volume. Like my hair tends to be really flat on the roots, but every time I use it, I have so much texture and volume, it's incredible. The only downside to this product is that because it gives you texture, it makes your hair feel a bit dry when you touch it. But apart from that, it is a wonderful product. I reach for it over anything on a daily basis. Next, I picked up a shampoo from the Boots Expert range. This is the sensitive one, and I actually use the empty build up one, which is just great. It's exactly like the Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo. So I decided to pick this one up because my scalp has been a bit dry recently and a bit sensitive. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll report back on this one. Then I got two um, eye pencils. The first one is from Rimmel. This is a Scandalite eyeshadow stick in the shade. 15 to pressing tube. Um, I was really curious to try these. I don't think these are out yet in Belgium. Um, the shade is just wonderful for every day. I think it's really practical to apply it all over the lid, smoke it up a bit, and you're good to go. And then the next one that I picked up is the number seven Stay Perfect shade in Define. And I got the shade. Which shade did I got? I have no idea. Yes, I did. Cool Mink. Um, this is really cool because it's kind of a um, twist up um, pen that you can apply all over your lid. Again, this is a beautiful color. I can't wait to try it. The last bit I picked up from Boots is the Revlon Parfumerie Ginger Melon Scented Nail Polishes. So, first of all, the packaging is just beautiful. I think it is kind of retro, really cute, dinky thing. I just love it. Second of all, these are supposed to be scented nail polishes, but I haven't given it a try yet, so I can't really say anything about that. But I fell in love with the color, it's kind of a neon melon color. I think it's gonna be perfect for a summer. Then I popped into Lush and I got a refill of the Big Sea Salt Shampoo. Haven't used this shampoo in like a year or so, but I really missed it. So I decided to pick one up. I love it because it gives you a lot of volume. It's really harsh because it has like straight up sea salt in it, but it doesn't like irritate my scalp or anything and I have sensitive scalp. So I look forward to use it again and to have insanely good volume in my hair. And the last thing that I picked up is from Pixie and this is the Glow Tonic with Aloe Vera and Ginseng. I think they just redid the packaging but it's just like the old one. Basically this is um, a toner with glycolic acid and I'm literally out of my um, Clarins Gentle Exfoliator um, Toner. So I thought I would give it a try. I do love the Clarins one. I really think I'm gonna pick one up again in the future, but I wanted to give this one a try. So I'll let you know how I go on with it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got in London. I'm so excited to try some of the beauty stuff. I already wore the sweater and the necklace, so I know that I love these. But I look forward to try um, the stuff that I got from Boots and from Pixie. And that's that will be it. If you have any recommendation about beauty shopping in the States, please leave them in the comment section below because I'm currently doing like wish list for Sephora, drugstore, all kind of things. So if you have any recommendations, please pop them below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everyone for commenting. I always reply to all of you, so that makes my day to read through your comments. You guys are the sweetest and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.